Josh, so have you ever noticed over at Google things don't look the way they used to look? They call it universal search. Check this out. Just did a search for the phrase Akron Pizza. I love pizza. So, things are different these days. Instead of just having a bunch of blue links, now you get a pretty map. Look at there. And on that map, it says local business results for pizza near Akron, Ohio. Papa John's Pizza, Papa John's Pizza West Akron, Luigi's Restaurant, the best pizza in Akron, by the way, just around the corner from our office here. And then you get down here, rubberbuzz.com, Akron Pizza Shops. You get the more standard stuff. Here's Akron-OhioAddresses.com. Those are the standard listings. But where do these come from? Where did, where did this whole rigmarole of the, of, you know, the local business results for Akron, Ohio come in? How do you get involved in those? You can't just optimize for that. That's not just your standard business listing. Well, fear not, I'm going to show you. Here, incidentally, I clicked on there. There is a picture of Luigi's right there and it has about four and a half stars. Excellent food most of the time. Luigi's is a Northeast Ohio tradition, far better than the much ballyhooed East Side restaurants in Cleveland. Sticking it to Cleveland a little bit there, that review, but it is good. But so, uh, you know, you can see that. I mean, that is nice. 16 reviews on Luigi Pizza here in little old Akron, Ohio. But I wanted to show you how you find these, okay? You go to the Google Local Business Center right up here as the business owner and you put in your listing. First of all, you should do the search for your listing. See if you come up. See if you're already in the local business center. And then you can put in your listing. So here we have Sage Rock, Building 4, 129 North Summit Street. The status is active. Posted on December 7th, 2007. One coupon. 412,000 impressions in the last 30 days. And then here you see I can edit or delete. And over here, I can add a new listing or I can upload a data file. And a data file is cool because if you have more than one listing, if you have one more, more than one restaurant, it might be easier to upload a data file. And you just, it's a, it's a flat file spreadsheet that you upload and all the data goes in. Now, the danger here is you have to be very careful about putting in your data because if you put the data in wrong, it is very difficult to change because you see what happens is you put in your data and then they send you a postcard. Google sends you a postcard and then with that postcard there's a secret ID on there that you have to go back to your local business center and then enter it in and then Google determines then that you are the owner here. But then once you're the owner, check this out. I don't want to delete, don't press that. I want to edit. I click edit. And here, required info. This is that. This is uh, the country, the, you know, just standard stuff. I can fix an incorrect marker. So if on the map, on the Google map, if the marker isn't right, I can move it to where it is right. And that is particularly interesting in our case because our business door is actually on a street called Bluff. We're on the corner of Bluff and Summit. And so I can move the mile marker, the marker, to up Bluff a little bit so people know to come up Bluff if they're using a Google map. So I can do that. I can add more phone numbers. I put in my web address, my description. Um, over here, I can do my address, my email address, and there it is, uh, my hours, my payment types, categories, coupons. See there, I have, have key phrase, free key phrase research. You come over and get my Google uh, local ad here, you can get key for, free key phrase research. Who can't beat that? And then here, you can add photos up at the top. Add flair to your listings. You can put them on here. You can add a photo from the web if it's already on there. You can create, you can add custom items here. I'll click this. So, specialty if you have, price, areas served, that type of thing. You can add that in. And then you see here, I've got the coupon. Check this out. Show you my coupon. 
Here it is. Attract more customers by making your existing coupons valid at this location. Never expires one location. And there it is. And so that's really handy. And there's my mile, there's my little marker there. Um, if you haven't done this yet, get over here because it's totally free. I mean, you you want the traffic, right? I mean, you built your website because you want people to come to it. You need to do this. It doesn't cost you anything. It just costs you, you know, five minutes to listen to me tell you to do it. Just go over there, the local business center. It, I'll have the link on the URL or on the on the on the uh, website at Web Marketing Watch. You can go to it or just type it in Google Local Business Center and it'll, it'll take you right there. It's Google.com/local/add/add. And you just go right there and get it all set up. I highly recommend it. Google is leading the local revolution. And if you're not in this one, you might as well not be in any of them. All right, everybody, this is Sage Lewis from Web Marketing Watch, and happy marketing!